Welcome back to Tiny Epics. This episode features three incredible discoveries, including the colossal tomb of an ancient king found in Turkey, a recently discovered treasure trove from the destroyed city of Pompeii, and the ever mysterious Nazca Lines of Peru. First up is the spectacular tomb of Nimrut. This massive stone monument was constructed at around 50 BC and it takes its name from the fact that it was discovered on Mount Nemrut, which is located in southeastern Turkey. I don't know about you, but looking at these sculptures makes me think of those colossal statues in that iconic scene from The Lord of the Rings. But the main difference is that this site is real. Back in the day at around 50 BC, the tomb would have looked more like this. The man on the left here represents King Antiochus I, and seated next to him are various deities. Their overall style shows a multicultural mix of ancient Greek, Iranian, and Armenian influence. This is because the king, who can be seen here wearing his crown, was half Greek and half Iranian. And his kingdom was located at the crossroads of many different cultures. In the ancient world, the whole area would have functioned as a temple as well as a tomb. The tomb itself is thought to be the giant, man-made mound of earth located just behind the colossal statues. And by the way, in case you're wondering why the heads are lying around on the ground, well it seems that earthquakes and even powerful blasts from lightning bolts over the last two millennia are to blame. But the missing noses are another story. This damage is thought to be the casualty of iconoclasm, which is the violent destruction of art as a form of protest, particularly against art that displays important religious, historical, and political significance. Before we leave this incredible site, it's worth noting that the physical remains of the king's body were never discovered. Next up are these enchanting little objects known as the Sorcerer's Treasure Trove, which were discovered in 2019 at the site of Pompeii in southern Italy. They were frozen in time from that fateful day in 79 AD, when Mount Vesuvius violently erupted. It's thought that the thermal energy released by the blast was 100,000 times stronger than the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Many of the residents of Pompeii died suddenly of extreme thermal shock, and after it was all over, their bodies were buried under 23 feet of volcanic rock and ash. A room with the bodies of 10 victims, including women and children, was recently excavated at the site, and it's believed that the treasure trove belonged to one of those victims. It's a stunning assortment of colorful gemstones and beautifully carved objects. Along with my personal favorite, this tiny figure delicately etched in glass. Some of them appear to have been used as amulets to protect the owner against danger or disease. Others symbolize fertility and love and were perhaps worn as ornaments on clothing or kept in a pocket close at hand as a charm to help ensure that they and their loved ones would be happy and healthy. The name Sorcerer's Treasure Trove makes it sound as if its owner were a spellcasting sorceress, but they're much more likely to simply be the personal belongings of an everyday Pompeian woman, which for me somehow makes them even more fascinating. The third and final discovery I want to share with you today is a new geoglyph found etched into the Nazca Desert in Peru. These enormous and mysterious desert drawings were created by the ancient people of the Nazca Valley between 200 and 700 AD. They are best seen from high up in the air, but they're also partially visible from the surrounding foothills. Most of the geoglyphs form straight, intersecting lines that run across the landscape. Others depict symbols of various animals and plants, and most are comprised of a single, continuous line. Some of those lines are nearly a mile in size, 
and the combined length of all lines and symbols covers a vast stretch of 800 miles. There are lots of theories out there as to why they were created, but no one can really explain why these enigmatic lines and symbols were executed on such a massive scale. One of the theories is that they were made to be seen by the gods that they worshipped, or that they were used somehow as an early astronomical calendar. And others say it has to do with irrigation and land division. And to add to the mystery, a new geoglyph was recently discovered by chance just a few months ago. As workers created a new path leading to an observation platform in October 2020. It seems cats were just as popular in the distant past as they are today. And this geoglyph is proof of that. Though I have to say, compared to the other more famous Nazca lines, this one looks a bit underdeveloped. And the reason is that it's believed to be far older than the other lines, and may have been created as early as 500 BC. But the questions remain, who were these mysterious people? And what was the purpose of these giant drawings in the middle of the desert? If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel now.